The outside world would think that ha African states are undemocratic and they would go as far as to say that they would encourage us to rule ourselves differently. Again, could you take us along a path of thinking, because this surely must have exercised your mind, sir. Sure. Um, I've said I will not listen to any country which yesterday was a colonial master. Mrs. Johnson Sirleaf, I hope you'll excuse me if I turn a bit cynical and ask the very simple question, why should the world community be in any way interested in what is happening on a continent which they've been traditionally been led by the press and their media to perceive as having very little of positive worth in terms of the quality of life and existence. Why Africa? In recent times, um, you would have yourself mentioned in the same breath as somebody like um, President Mobutu. And they would say, uh, uh, your name has been transformed. You're now to be called Mobutu and Moibutu must go because you are the type of leader who has destroyed the African continent. To revive the economy of this nation, Kenya, is, can be subjected to an, a, a critical analysis by all educated, trained people. I agree with you and entirely, you, you sir. I agree with you conclusion. entirely. And I'm saying you to you to that you're, what you're putting down on paper for the yes. Kenyan masses to analyze yes. is a mishmash of accommodation of people so that they all have a place in the sun somewhere. No, that, there you are wrong. So what will prove me wrong? In fact, left to themselves, politicians will do everything that benefits them. Because they're always thinking about now, not tomorrow. It's up to the citizen. You yourself ex have expressed the wish to be a politician. Well, you, have, you have at one stage expressed the wish to run for the presidency. Yeah, but I would And then you'd have only thought about the next two years. Yeah, you'd but have I, fallen into the trap yourself. No, I'm a, a good type of the politician. Je suis d'accord avec le général Dallaire. Maintenant, Madame Agathe est le chef légitime du gouvernement. Général, est-ce que vous pouvez assurer qu'elle gagne la station de radio en toute sécurité Là, elle peut s'adresser à la nation et calmer les esprits. Je demande au colonel Marshall d'envoyer une escorte des paracommandos belges parmi mes meilleurs hommes. C'est parfait. Colonel, nous tenons tous autant que vous à ce que la situation soit reprise en main sans délai. J'ai parlé avec l'ambassadeur américain. Il y aura une réunion des hauts diplomates chez lui demain matin à 9h. Dr. Joshua Ngaba, Kenya Health Ministry. May I introduce Tessa Quayle, Dr. Ngaba, the wife of our representative for aid effectiveness. Pleasure to meet you. And this is Dr. Bloom from Médecins dans l'univers. Good evening. Dr. Loom and I have met. Yes, it was at the opening for the clinic that didn't have the sterilizing equipment. We never met, Dr. Ngaba, but I know your work. There is just one thing that I'd like to thank Dr. Ngaba for, the free Novarapin. Yes, sir. He's uh, persuaded the manufacturers to donate it to HIV-positive mothers. It's a wonderful thing. Shall the we? problem is it isn't actually reaching them. Some, but no. not all. So we've been wondering, is that a standard cock-up, Dr. Ngaba, or, or were the pills converted into the limo that you arrived in? I think that's probably enough. If you come through here, Doctor. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's international inter-university question and answer championship. Hello everyone, I hope you're sitting comfortably. I'm going to read you a very special story. It's about a very, very greedy hyena. Now, don't forget to look out for our buzzwords. So, here we go. The greedy hyena. Long, long ago, in the land of Karofo, 
the animals and human beings live together in harmony. The African Economic Research Consortium, AERC, is a not-for-profit Africa-based organization that was founded in 1988. L'avion bimoteur Pothèse 25, qui a atterri à Addis Abeba, la capitale de l'Éthiopie, le 18 août 1929, a annoncé l'arrivée de l'une des plus grandes réussites en Afrique. Good evening, this is JS7 in the program tonight. The government admits to having mishandled the recent threats to security in Bungoma and Mandera. <music> President Uhuru Kenyatta now wants his ICC trial to start in January 2014. woman drowns four children before drowning herself in Gatondu. To approve or not to approve Francis Kimemia, a profile of the controversy-laden public official. And on the JSO interview, Nivi Mukherjee, Education Technology Specialist on a whole new fun way of learning. 